Hello, hello, hello. It's Moko from tarotbymoko.com. And today I have a special request from one of the readers of my blog. She asked about a celebrity, a Chinese celebrity, I believe he's an actor, named Shu Kai. She wanted to know some, I guess a little tea on him about his relationships, how he is as a person outside of his celebrity um, persona. And also, I, I believe that there is a controversy in his background. I guess he was rumored to be dating and living with um, another celebrity. I don't, I don't remember what her name is. Um, and upon seeing a photo that the celebrity posted on Instagram, his ex-girlfriend Da Jing, I think that's her name, she recognized the bed sheets that she bought him. <laughs> So then she outed him and she said that this was my ex-boyfriend from 2015 and she accused him of domestic violence. So I will be looking at that very quickly um, because again, I'm, I'm not really familiar with this celebrity so I, 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 I don't want to get too much into his business and, and also when it comes to stands, um, K-pop stands are pretty bad. I used to be one of them. Shiny is my favorite group, but Chinese stands is, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a totally different thing. So I'm going to be as careful as I can be to not say anything derogatory. Okay. Um, <laughs> another thing that I didn't, I don't really make public is that, um, I also do face reading every once in a while. I'm, I'm not an expert at it, but I'm, I'm decent. I'm more of a beginner, maybe intermediate face reader. Um, he has very extreme eyebrows. I feel like he's a dramatic person just looking at him. He, very intense. He's friendly. Um, I can see that from his face. He's very friendly, but I also feel like he has a temper. All right, so I'll, I'll say that much. So let's see, what is Shukai like as a person? interesting so again I don't know much about him I don't I don't really see any negative cards here I feel like he he may have some anxiety issues um, that he's covering up I, it's it's also possible that he may drink a little bit too much um, but in general he has he has pretty good energy he's just somebody who is very locked in um, I feel like he has a hard time making decisions because he's always he's always thinking about the future. What if I do this? What happens if I do that? Da 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 da. And it it's almost like it 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 it's almost like he's very indecisive because he's always thinking about the future and the what ifs that will happen. But over overall, I mean that's just a personality quirk. I don't really see anything that's gnarly or or you know really bad. So. He's, he's an okay dude. Um, I don't feel like you'll be too disappointed being a fan <laughs> of his. Ooh. He was not nice to her, guys. <laughs> He wasn't he was not nice to her and I feel like I read in that interview he did he did admit his wrongs and he said that he was a bad boy but he was he was not nice to her and for her um, I mean she she comes across as a nice person as well but she's very insecure and I feel like the reason why she stayed with him is because she wanted she thought that he would fill up some hole in her so she has her own issues but the way that he treated her he wasn't that nice this five of wands this is a card of like people tussling people are fighting here in this five of wands it can also be you know disagreements um general conflict but when i see this in a relationship and especially next to this card as the bottom of the deck the root of the issue um uh, they did more than tussling or arguing. They did, they did, I mean, they, but he did more than tussling and arguing, okay? So I, even though some of his fans in the C Netizen say that, oh, she only brought this up because she was jealous, it's possible that she did, but I don't see that she's lying. I, I think that he was, 
he was controlling towards her, actually. Wow. <laughs> um, she's not she ain't lying, okay? So I'll just I'll just leave it at that. She she did not lie. Um wow. Does he have a history of being violent with his girlfriends? Okay, so not necessarily. Um yeah, not not necessarily. It, it's possible that the relationship with Da Jing was like a one-off. <laughs> um, but it's not showing me that it's a direct yes that he was. Um, I feel like he was more more stingy with his time. Because um, there, there's something about his face that I can see that he does have a temper. But he's also a very, he's an intense person. Um, but I feel like he could have been someone who's very hot and cold and indecisive, indecisive as well. Cause indecisiveness comes up with him, um, that he just, he thinks a little bit too much. He's a little bit anxious, but I also feel like he was stingy with his time. He could have been a struggling actor and he could have dated women who were more well off <laughs> than he was. Um, so yeah, I, I, I feel like he was stingy with his time potentially taking advantage of them monetarily wise, but I also feel like he could switch up very quickly. Um, and he was also hot and cold. I don't really see violence, like physical violence. It's more of just like a personality quirk where maybe he wasn't the best partner <laughs> that he could be. Does he have a girlfriend right now? Um, Okay, so I asked both questions. Does he have a girlfriend right now? And what type of woman does he fall in love with? So first, does he have a girlfriend right now? <laughs> and also, what type of woman does he fall in love with? Sorry for the laughter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so... Technically, no, he does not have a girlfriend, but he has plenty of booty calls. <laughs> He's having a lot of fun, all right? And you know what? If he's single, more power to him. As for the type of woman he likes, again, he likes rich women. <laughs> he, he likes rich women, and he actually, I kind of feel like he likes... Okay, so I keep repeating that he is an intense person. Um, he has a very strong personality. He's he's friendly, but he's like there's just something that's just very intense about him, and it's slightly overbearing. He likes to fight. Um, he and this doesn't necessarily mean that he likes to physically fight. He just likes this 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 friction with people. Um, he likes the money. He likes financial stability. He likes this friction with people. He also likes really strong characters. So. You know, he doesn't like people who will back down from him. He wants them to meet him head to head. But another thing he likes um, in terms of women that he falls in love with or, you know, women that he sleeps with is he kind of likes people who are a little bit dreamy. So I feel like he would be drawn to like water signs a lot, especially Pisces and Cancer, but mostly Pisces. Um, he just he just likes this dreamy, he likes this dreamy quality that's sort of, I don't know, that's his dream girl, I guess, but it's also a little bit contradictory because he wants them to be strong enough to be rich and strong enough to stand up to his bullshit. So he's, he's, he's all over the place. <laughs> in terms of the love department but right now i think that he's just having as much fun as a single guy a single attractive rich guy can <laughs> how does he feel about dating older women and how does he treat his girlfriends in real life <laughs> It's not bad. So it's saying that, you know, look, look, <laughs> oh, look, oh, second time, second, second time, Shukai. I, you know, okay, I'll say this. Look, I'm not trying to get on his fans' bad side, but I just have to say this. When I read that article 
where he said that he was a bad boy, but he wants to grow up to be a better man. I think he still has some growing up to do <laughs> from the cards that I'm seeing here. Um, because he has, he has a different side that he's not showing the public, okay? Um, but anyway, in terms of the older women, he'll, he'll work with that. He's fine with older women, I think. Um, but he's, he's, he likes money. He likes, he likes women with connections who have money. So, you know, older women make sense. But in terms of how he treats women, his girlfriends in real life, okay. So he's a little bit manipulative here. This magician, I don't always see this as a positive in terms of relationships, so he's a little bit manipulative. He's also a playboy. He, I feel like he's still a boy, he's still young. Um, I, I think he's in his early 20s, so that's permissible. Um, he's, he's still young, he still likes to play, he likes to have fun, um, he really likes to have fun uh, in the literal sense and the figurative sense. Um, but I, I, I don't feel like he's a like a 100% bad guy. Like he's not someone like Sungi from Big Bang. He's not like that bad. Um, he's just a, he's a playboy, and he has a bad temper, and that's something that he needs to work with. He need he needs to mature. <laughs> okay, um, but other other than that, you know, there's manipulation here. There's like some playboy tactics, and I think that's really what the manipulation is about. So he may have multiple partners. Um, he may be single for a reason because he's seeing multiple women. Um, but you know, other other than that, like the typical young, rich, attractive guy stuff, he's okay. You know, um, I in terms of the domestic violence, I saw that with that one lady Dajing. Hopefully, you know all. My heart goes out to her. I hope she heals from that and hopefully he learned his lesson from that and he's not like that anymore because I, I don't really see it around him. Um, but manipulation, yes. Playboy, yes. Haves fun, yes. Likes money, yes. <laughs> so, you know, that's all I have to say about Shukai. I don't want to say anymore because I'm not trying to get skull dragged by any fans. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.